Buster! How? Not in the top five. Not? How? This is Michael Brown's favorite alligator. One of the main alligators on the... Not in the top five? You guys are ridiculous. Come on. Buster! Buster! Listen, what? Not in the top five. Hey, y'all! It's me, Savannah, and today we're going to be counting down our top five alligators that people ask us about when they come to Gatorland. And then we're going to let you guys pick your top five alligators that you want to see more of. Hey everybody, so we're talking about the top five alligators in the park that everybody comes here and they're wanting to see. This is number one in my book. This is old Pops. Now Pops have been around as long as Gatorland's been around. In fact, this year we will be celebrating our 75th anniversary. Well, settle down. Our 75th anniversary and Pops was here when we opened Gatorland back in 1949. He's old time. <laughs> Oh, he's a big, big fella. You can't even see me on Stop It. He's a grumpy old boy. I tell you what, 75 years here at Gatorland, but he has been on the Pet Psychic. That was kind of weird. Was that a TV show? That's a TV show. Yeah, she came in and told us what Pops was thinking. What was he thinking? He was thinking how great it is to live right here in Alligator Paradise. <laughs> That's what he told her. He's been on the uh, guy Jack Hanna, uh, BBC, National Geographic. There's a there's an old rumor around the park that his vocalizations, like that one right there a minute ago, was also used in Jurassic Park. It he, was. He was, wasn't he? It was. Yeah, that's a, he makes a lot of different grunting noises. Us old guys make a lot of noises. Well, why do you keep saying stuff like that? Cause being old pops, we're we're getting on up there. And we 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 grunt and groan and <laughs> let me stand up here. <laughs> Oh, okay, let me get back down. Oh, there we go. Are uh, you gonna feed Pops for us? Yeah, I'm gonna feed Pop a little bit, but uh, Pop has been and all, he's a superstar. And in fact, you know, he, he's very particular kind of star too. He wants only blue M&Ms and chicken gizzards in his changing room. That's what he expects every time he goes in there. He's, and if he don't get it, oh, he throws a fit like you wouldn't believe. Let me get on, hang on a sec. <laughs> I'm up, okay. Pops, you want a piece of chicken? Come on, buddy. How about a piece of chicken? Open up. Open up. Open up. Maybe he's not hungry. Pops, you hungry? You're not doing it right. Pops, come on. Pops. <laughs> Pops, you're gonna. Uh, uh. <laughs> Try again. Here, Pops. Pops, Pops, here it comes. Here it comes. It's coming. Oh! oh Open up. There you go. Now you're getting with the program. Ah, oh. oh, that was good chicken right there, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Mystic the leucistic alligator here is one of the most popular alligators here at Gatorland. Uh, she hatched back in August, so she's only about four months old. You can see those pretty blue eyes on her. And she is only one of eight in the entire world. I'm gonna tell you guys the difference between a leucistic alligator and an albino alligator. You can see them side by side. They're both real light colored white, but still look totally different. The leucistic, Mystic here, her eyes are blue. So she has that blue coloration to her eye. She's completely white. She doesn't have any of those juvenile markings where you see on Jelly Bean here, or the albino. She has pink eyes or red eyes. Her pupils are not as dilated as normal right now because she's in the sun, but she has lack of pigmentation, a complete lack of pigmentation. If you look at Jelly Bean right here, the albino versus the leucistic right here, look at their tails. You see Jelly Bean, the albino still has those white yellowish stripes. A regular normal colored alligator grunt would still have those and it would be in contrast with that black coloration on their skin which helps them blend really well out in the swamps or in the lakes here in Florida. But Mystic the Leucistic has zero. She has no stripes on her body right here. So her entire pigmentation is solid white. But obviously neither one of these are really good at camouflaging. So where she has a lack of pigmentation, this one's pigmentation is actually just pure white. Um, so they're both a little sensitive to the sun, so they have to have a lot of shaded areas, but still a little exposure to the sun to get all those vitamins and stuff like that. But you see them side by side, those eyes are totally different. And the rarity, I mean, there's quite a few hundred of these right here, 
but there's only eight of these in the entire world. So this little gem right here is one of the rarest animals ever. Our next alligator, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about Jolene. If you don't know about Jolene, she was a wild alligator up until September of last year and who had lost her top jaw. So she doesn't have any top jaw there. And uh, Jolene was brought to us by a trapper, by our good friend, Jerry Flynn in conjunction with the Florida Wildlife Commission and brought right here to Gatorland. Now she's gained about four pounds, but when I walk around the park, she is the most requested alligator at Gatorland. Now we're gonna take Jolene out to see some of her adoring fans that come from around the world. Come on, Jolene. Are you so excited to see her? I am. I'm about to cry. What's your oh name? My God, Selena. Selena, say it to the camera. Hi. Oh my God. Oh, I've man. been waiting to meet What's your Jolene. Name? What's your name? <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Oh man, I want to see her on the internet oh all the time. I know. She, We've been following her and I can't internet. believe I'm meeting her. Yeah, she is pretty amazing. When did you first hear about her? Oh, when they first discovered ago. her. Yeah, yeah like, in September. And I was I was like, I bet they're gonna put her at Gatorland. And they did. <laughs> I was like, when I heard it on the news, I was like, yes! All yeah. the locals are rooting for her. Ah, Big George. What you doing? Which one's Larry, Mike? Larry's the one right in the middle of all the other ones. <laughs> so how are you going to tell us about Larry? I guess I can just talk and point. <laughs> this one's being obnoxious. I don't know who that is, but Larry is this big one right here in the middle hanging out with all of his buddies. Okay. And Larry is one of the alligators we get the most questions about. He is a rescue from the villages, which is about an hour north of Orlando and he came to us a couple years ago and the reason he they came, do weird stuff at the villages huh uh, is it that kind of video <laughs> going into that you can google that for you guys watching yeah. out there but uh so the problem up there in the villages he was having is people were feeding him they were feeding him so much and calling him by his name that when the trapper went to go remove him all he had to do was call his name and he came over to him right so we were working with the trapper, so he has a forever home now here at Gatorland. But Larry's a prime example as to why you don't feed alligators in the wild. You come here to Gatorland. Larry, come on up here just a little bit. Come on, Larry. Oh, no, he's getting Hurry, give out. him a piece. All right, we'll give him. Ah! That didn't work out. Hold on, hold on. Larry. Big Larry. Big Larry. Come on, Larry. Big Larry. Big Larry. Wait, wait, wait. Big Larry, come up. Watch out for this little ah! Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna Larry. bite you. Alright, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We Big got Larry. Larry! We love you, Larry! He's got a following. There's a lot of people that ask about him here. What would you say the demographic age range is for Larry? Larry is liked by the 55 and older <laughs> club. <laughs> Cause that's what hangs out in the villages. Oh, handsome Dan's over here. We're only so, doing five. No, cause we, we get questions all the time. Cause handsome Dan, what's neat about him. He, he burped. What's he neat burped. About, <laughs> neat about handsome Dan is he's another rescue that we got, but he came to us with this injury right here on his bottom jaw. So, He's able to survive here because we obviously feed him all the time, but we get questions, you know, what happened, what happened? Well, he came to us this way, and my guess is he probably lost a fight with another alligator when he was much smaller. But he doesn't count. We're just showing you Handsome Dan. But we do he get questions. He can't be in the get, top five. I get questions all the time about Make him. a pick. Handsome Dan or Larry? I get more questions about Larry, but when they see Handsome Dan, they ask questions. Yeah. Okay, I got Watch you. Out hey! The best for last. Ah! Uh, yeah. We're not, Savannah, we ain't ready yet. No, y'all ready. We're not, no, we haven't, ready. Savannah, we haven't started yet. No, we haven't started yet. No, you ready. You ready? Uh, up. Put your head up. Up here. No. Wait. All right. I guess we're so starting. Number five. Uh-uh, the bridge, the bridge! 
Up oh, too late. He he wanted to go in the water first. I guess so. Come on. All right, hold on. I gotta get. No. Come back up. Now look what you did. Now look what you did. Everybody loves Jaws. Probably the most requested alligator we have at Gatorland, with few exceptions. But you guys can decide for yourself in the comments. Come up. All the way. All the way. Let's get Mike. Come on. Yeah, don't. Hey, why are you eating the grass? Come on. He wants a little salad Come with up. his chicken. Come on. Come on. Get all the way up. Yeah, so ever since, I don't know, but ever since we moved him back here into his own little spot, he gets all kinds of questions. And then, of course, he's one of the favorites for the vlog. He is. All right. <laughs> you, you're pushing okay. me out, buddy. Okay, calm down. Yeah, settle there him down, go. Savannah. There you go. Set, settle them down. Okay, so number five on our list of top five alligators people come to see is, of course, Jaws. I already said that, I think, but I said it when I was running, so I'm going to say it again. You were out of breath. So, <laughs> Jaws uh, was Vlogmas MVP back in 2000. 2020. 2020? 20 or 21, yeah. Yeah, and so Jaws has become a fan favorite, absolutely. Um, and uh, what happened with Jaws and why he lives alone is, one, because he's a superstar, but two, because Jaws likes to fight. He's the biggest fighting alligator at Gatorland. So Jaws used to have no teeth right there because he knocked all his teeth out fighting. But now he's getting his teeth back. Who's the best? Who's the best? You are. He likes to fight more than any other alligator here. So we had to take him out of the breeding marsh. But we all do love Jaws. And you guys probably have some favorites out there as well. So let us know if you came to Gatorland, who's your favorite alligator that you want to see? Post it in the comments and we'll get you guys some content up. Eat it. What are you doing? Trying to figure out if he wants the straw hat or not. Eat it. Why are you being crazy? What are you doing? Hey. I don't know what he's doing. Hey, don't come this way. Post it in the comments below. Let us know if you want to see more of Jaws, Jolene, Mystical Assistant, and let us know the ones you didn't see today so we can get those up for you soon. Don't forget, chop that like button, smash notifications on, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to do too, and we will see you again very soon. Come here. Hey, you didn't find anything right there. Come on, come on. That's oh, a good boy. Your knees are showing. Huh? Your knees are showing. That's a good boy. There you go.